Let's go. Hello, welcome. This is our last week in our series, In the Beginning. This month, we've been exploring the awesome planet God has given us. I don't know about you, but one of the ways I find myself making a lot of wrong choices is in the way I treat people in my family. How many siblings do you have? I grew up with two sisters. Do you ever fight with them? Be honest, you know. We might all have times when it's hard to get along with our siblings. We're going to read a story from the Bible today about some siblings who fought. In fact, they had a really big fight that ended badly. Then we're going to talk about what happens when we make wrong choices. Let's go check with Mr. Jeff and Elmer and get the big idea. Hey, Elmer. Hey, kids. How's it going? Good. Oh, you're doing good? That's right. What's that? Oh, you had a big idea for the week. Okay. What is it? Oh, it said Jesus takes away our sins? What? Why does Jesus need to take away our sin? Oh, well, Elmer, that's because there's consequences for our sins. What's consequence? The word consequence, Elmer, means something that happens as a result of something else. Oh, yeah, this consequence of sin is death, Elmer. Yeah, sin is very serious, so the consequence must be serious. God is perfect and holy and cannot tolerate sin. Oh, what did God do to rescue us from our sins and from the consequences? Well, Elmer, God sent Jesus to rescue us from our sins. That's the good news. That's the gospel. That's awesome, Elmer. Yeah. Oh, so that means, yeah, that means we don't have to be separated from God forever because Jesus and what he did for us on the cross. The kids are going to learn more about that in their Bible story? Okay, bye kids! Hello there! We've been learning about when God created everything. Last week, we learned about Adam and Eve sinning. After they were kicked out of the garden, they had kids. Two brothers named Cain and Abel. Do any of you have brothers or sisters? If you do, you probably know that sometimes <laughs> it's hard to get along with them. We might fight over toys or annoy our brothers or sisters on purpose. We are going to hear about how Cain and Abel had a hard time getting along with each other. Cain and Abel were the sons of Adam and Eve. These two brothers both had jobs that kept them busy. Abel watched over the flocks of sheep, and Cain was a farmer who took care of the land. Both of them brought an offering to God. Abel brought some meat, and Cain brought some vegetables. God was happy with Abel's offering, but not with Cain's. This made Cain very angry. God asked Cain why he was so angry. God warned Cain not to be so upset because sin was coming into his heart. But do you think Cain listened to God's warning? No, he didn't. Cain invited his brother Abel to go out to the field. Then Cain attacked his brother and killed him. God was very upset with Cain for killing his brother. He told Cain that his punishment would be wandering the earth forever and farming but not getting good vegetables for his work. Sin had really messed up Cain and Abel's lives. These two brothers had a big problem. Remember last week when we talked about sin entering the world when Adam and Eve ate from the tree? Well, because of that, every person is born with sin inside of them. But just because we have sin inside of us doesn't mean we have to disobey God. We have freedom to choose to obey. But Cain gave in to temptation and chose to disobey. Before Cain killed his brother, he was jealous of him. That turned into anger and then to violence. Then Cain tried to hide what he had done, but nothing is hidden from God because he knows everything. Sin hurts our relationships with the people we love. It hurts us, and most of all, it hurts our relationship with God. When we sin, it keeps us from God. But God doesn't leave us on our own to deal with sin. He sent Jesus to save us and forgive our sins. All we have to do is ask. But he doesn't only forgive us. He helps us so we don't have to give in to temptation and let sin rule our lives. God gives us strength to stand up to temptation and overcome sin. That's great news! Hey everyone, what a great Bible story that was. Sad story though with Cain and Abel. Cain got so tangled up in sin. He was so tangled up in sin that he killed his own brother. How did he get so tangled up? I think he got tangled up because he was jealous of his brother and he got angry at his brother, and then he took the horrible action of killing his brother. 
what are some examples of sins that we might get tangled up in? We get angry. We might say mean words. We might do mean things. We might steal. We might have jealousy. We might have all these different things that are sin. These things all separate us from God. And that's what the ultimate consequence for these sins are. Each sin has its own consequence. If you get angry and fight with your brother and sister, you might get grounded, you might be in trouble, you might have to clean up room and do extra chores. There's all sorts of consequences, but ultimately the biggest consequence is that we're separated from God. But the good news is, although we're all sinners and we've all fallen short of the glory of God, God made a way for us to be forgiven. And that's through Jesus. Jesus helped untangle us from the sin. And then these sins no longer are a problem. And they were free of these sins. And we're no longer tangled. That's the gospel. That's the gospel message. That's what God did for us. By sending Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. Hey! This month we've been talking about the earth and everything God made. We learned in week two that God created all the plants. When he created plants, they were alive and beautiful and growing. But this plant, it's not alive and it's not growing. What happened to this plant? It stopped getting what it needed to live and it died. So sad. Wah, wah, wah. When God created Adam and Eve, they were perfect. There was no sin in the world when God created it. This means no plants were dead like this one. No bad things happened in the entire world. There was no bad weather or sickness in the world. Everything was wonderful and beautiful. When sin came into the world, death came into the world. Cain and Abel were the first example of death. Death is a consequence. That means a result or something that happens because of sin. We don't have to let sin keep us from God, though. Let's read a verse from the Bible and see what else the Bible has to say about sin. I'm going to read you Psalm 51, 1 through 10. It's right here on my phone. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you may be justified in your words and blameless in your judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you delight in truth in the inward being, and you teach me wisdom in the secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have broken rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Psalm 51, 1 through 10. According to this verse, when do we have sin in our lives? Well, it says we have sin starting from birth. We're all born with sin inside of us. No one has to teach a little baby or a toddler how to lie or disobey their parents. We have all done things that we shouldn't do. We all mess up. But this verse says God will wash the sin away. He'll create a clean heart with no more sin inside of us. He will get rid of sin and the consequences of sin in our lives. This is great news. Have you ever seen freshly fallen snow before anyone walks on it? What does it look like? It's pure, white, and perfect. The Bible says God will take the sin from our lives and make us look perfect and beautiful again, like the fresh fallen, white, perfect snow. 
we've learned so much this month. We've talked about this incredible planet we get to live on and the story of God creating it. On the very first page of the Bible, we see that our planet, galaxy, and universe were all created with love and care by the same God who loves and cares for each of us. The first week, we learned that the Bible tells us God's big story and that we have a place in that story. Then, in the second week, we heard the story of God creating the whole earth and everything in it. In the third week, we heard the story of God creating Adam and Eve. We learned that God created us in his image as his special creation. In the fourth week, we heard the story of Adam and Eve sinning, and we learned that sin separates us from God. But today, we heard the story of Cain killing Abel, and we learned that even when we make big mistakes, Jesus takes away our sin. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's been great learning with you this month. I hope to see you soon. Do your memory verses. Talk to you later. Bye.